Hello, everybody. You see what room I'm in? I'm getting ready to do another. It's not really cooking, but it's going to be another smoothie video. This is one I haven't tried yet. I'm going to put this little blender. This is the uh, Hamilton, Hamilton Beach Personal Blender that I showed in my other video. I have another smoothie video that I put up, I believe, this morning. And that would be it up there. You guys can see it in the, in the cupboard. I don't want to pull the box all the way down because it's in the anti-short people section, you know. Let's see where that cabinet is. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to make pretty much a fruit and veggie one today. I'm going to leave the protein out of it because I did have a protein shake this morning. Um, and I, this is now 6.30 at night. And before I eat dinner, a little later, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make a, a protein, um, I'm sorry, a veggie and fruit juice type smoothie. Uh, it would probably be more like just juicing if, for those of you that are health nuts and use the juicers. I have every light on that I could possibly have on, and pardon the sweat, because your girl's been running. Anyway, I'm going to show you what's in here. At the very bottom, I've got um, half of an orange, and I just saved my other halves in this bag right here. You can see there's the uh, other half of the Granny Smith apple. So I have half of an orange. The Granny Smith apple is there in the middle. That is about a third of the Granny Smith apple right there. Then above that, I put some baby leaf spinach, which is right yonker, this country would say. And then above it, I have some kale that's here. So this is going to be really high in vitamin C, vitamin A, and a lot of, you're interrupting my video, country. <laughs> Sending text messages, it blanks out my screen and I can't see. And then I've got some baby carrots on top. Now, um, just so y'all know, I learned this a long time ago. These little baby carrots are not actually little baby carrots. Um, I was told that there is a machine that actually shaves them down from full-size carrots and makes them into these little ones that look like little baby carrots. They're so cute, but they're actually just regular carrots. Anyway, I was going to buy the um, Naked brand that I showed in my other smoothie video. I was going to buy the Naked brand. Um, they have a bottle that's, well, I'm not sure it's their brand. There's another brand next to them at Walmart, but they have a bottle that's 100% carrot juice. So much easier. So if those of you all want to spend $2.50, go ahead. I'll tell you why I didn't, uh, because that bottle is maybe 12 ounces, and I would probably pour about half of that in here if I was going to do it. Uh, instead, I did the price checking, and if you look, I have gotten, let's see if I can get my hands right, get my hands right, girl. I have gotten organic baby carrots, baby cut. Notice it's baby cut, because there's no such thing as baby carrots unless you get real carrots and you pull them out of the ground early. Anyway, um, so anyway, I've got um, organic baby cut carrots, and... Look at that sale because Walmart was restocking all their veggies right now they have like a shipment come in and they didn't have room stuff got marked down I'm always on it so it was cheaper for me to get two of these bags at two dollars and 34 cents than to buy that one 12 ounce bottle of 100% carrot juice I'm all about the saving y'all so anyway I've also got some cucumbers on the side here you can see I have a cucumber keep your mind out of the gutter Anyway, um, I've wrapped that up because I'm going to put the rest of that in there. I am just using about that much from the end of the cucumber. Yes, it's very big. Anyway, I'm just using about that much off of the end of the cucumber. So maybe six slices. And that's it. Now, you can clearly see I don't have room for it in here. But once I turn this on, I will be able to make room. So here we go. Let's see if the lid stays on without me holding it. Oranges are giving it a go for. I'm going to have to put something down in there. I have a little spatula that I use to just push stuff down, which is what they recommend in the book. So hang on. I cannot find my spatula. Mom did it. All right, so let's uh, just push this down. I don't have the lid on because it's not really doing much now. I'm just going to put pressure oh! on it. Humming. I'm gonna come back when I'm done. Okay, so yeah, I would highly recommend that you use something um, silicone in nature. I accidentally tapped the blade, and uh, I got I need to clean up on all one, as you can see in my hair, <laughs> because the lid is not on. I did get the stuff to go down, but I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid in here. I have uh, a little bit of that juice left over in there, and I can throw that in there so we don't have another explosion. <laughs> yeah, that part. <laughs> I'll try to do this a better way. I really need my silicone one. But cucumbers will put more juice in there if I can just get them down near the blade.
almost there. Let me go get some juice. By golly, I didn't get any juice today. And the one that's in there is my son's orange juice. And I already have orange in here. Anyway, this is going to be basically a veggie and fruit mix. I put in the carrot and the apple because that's what's going to give you your sweetness. Because kale is not that sweet, neither is, uh, well, it's a little sweeter than the baby spinach, I'll say that. So, when in need, <laughs> reach for what you got. I got a Capri Sun, it's a fruit punch flavor. Uh, yeah, fruit cocktail. Or fruit, yeah, just fruit punch. Put a hole in it. Needed some liquid, because all these veggies and fruits have turned into a puree, which means they're not liquid enough to keep pulling everything down and chopping it. It's all right, we fix, we fix, we fix. Do all the time. Can y'all see my shirt? <laughs> I still got stuff splattered all over me from that little mishap earlier. All right, so the juice is in there now. And that probably can pull it down. Look at that. And now you can see it mixing up. All right. Note to self, use more liquid next time. Before making a video and looking like it. All right. So it's pretty good right now. I put the cucumbers in. Carrots are in. Spinach, kale, orange. And a Granny Smith apple. I do have red apples that I bought earlier today at Walmart, but this poor Granny Smith apple has been sitting here for a couple weeks. And no, they don't go bad that quickly. For those that don't know, they keep them in large, very cold warehouses. The apple that you eat today probably got picked off a tree like months ago. Months and months and months ago. And then they put a little coating on them to protect the outside and they throw them in a really cold place so they can ship them all across the country and the world. The end. Okay. Anyway, so I uh, use my Capri Sun fruit ju juice. It's not the worst juice you could use. There's definitely worse ones, but I swear I still have stuff on my face. I probably really do. Anyway, <clears throat> I think that's going to be about it for this one. I'm not going to make too much because I am going to actually eat a Caesar salad on the side, which I will not be making in this video. I'm just going to throw some uh, kale. Big old bag, $2 and something at Walmart. Um, oh, quickly. All righty, my bestie on here. Life of Alicia, check out her channel, Life of Alicia, A-L-I-S-H-A. She asked me um, earlier after watching the smoothie video, why do people put, use protein in there? Um, you don't have to, but uh, if you're not getting a lot of protein in your diet, like say if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, vegetarian, um, or maybe you just don't like a, or eat a lot of meat in your diet, this memory, then you can go ahead and um, get your protein through other sources. So I did buy another container today at Walmart. This one was $14.88, I believe. It's the cheapest one they had. Uh, pure protein, which I show in my other video, which I'm resting my camera on right now, so I can't show it to you. Um, that one is a little more expensive. It was like $18 today at Walmart. So anyway, this one also comes with one scoop of the powder inside. It's vanilla flavor. I go for vanilla because you can mix it with anything. I could mix it in here right now, except I just want to do a vegetable and fruit one right now. Um, I may do another one later tonight with protein, but... Basically, um, you can look online. I'm not going to give any health guidance as far as what you need because it's based on your activity level, really, and how much you physical work you do. Everybody needs protein in their diet, the end, period. There's other ways to get it, of course, but um, I add the protein in here, even though I do eat a lot of meat and stuff during the day on my salads and eggs in the morning and all that kind of stuff, but still, um, I'm pretty active. So um, 30 grams is uh, five more grams than what's in the pure protein brand down here. I still have a whey protein. They do have soy protein as well. Um, I just prefer to use the whey. Don't really notice much difference once you uh, mix them up with something else. So anyway, this is pretty much it. And this is what I love about the Hamilton Beach. All I gotta do is throw the top on this sucker and slide that little lever. I have to chew it a little bit because I didn't mix it all the way, but I'm almost out of recording time, so. You guys don't need to watch me drone on while I do this to make it smoother again. Mm, it's nice and sweet too. Anyway, what I was saying earlier, but the orange and the apple will sweeten it up a little. You can taste it, it's to your liking. I do put two packets of um, the fake sugar. So Splenda, um, Equal, one of those in there, sweet and low, whatever I have on hand. I did that earlier, so it's definitely sweet and nice right now. I just wanna make it smoother texture. So I'm gonna throw some ice cubes in here. The ice cubes are going to also add a little more liquid, but they're also going to make it ice cold. So it's going to be a nice cold drink for me. And um, that's pretty much it, y'all. I highly recommend you go get the Hamilton Beach Personal Blender. Um, and again, it was, um, I think like 14 something, 14.88 at Walmart or something, like 15 bucks. Well worth the cost. And I've used it a lot. And you can use it with coffee beans, as I said in my other video, if you didn't see it. 
Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next episode of Jen Crazy is going on. And I will see you guys in the next video. I feel like I forgot to say something. I don't know. It'll come to me when I hit the off button. But, you know, that's how I do. <laughs> Bye.